In today's episode, we're going to install a solar panel on a soft top Jeep. How are we gonna do that? Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Daryl and welcome to the channel. This week we're installing a solar panel onto the Jeep. Um, and being a soft top, that throws up a whole range of difficulties because you can't just mount a solar panel on a roof rack on the roof. Um, the only way I could get a roof rack on this would be to have some sort of gym equipment bolted to the chassis and the like, and I just don't want that. Um, I'm trying to keep this vehicle as light as I possibly can. So I went looking for a solution and found Lensun Solar. They do a whole range of bespoke solar panels for the bonnet or hood if you're American of a whole range of vehicles. They do the, all of the Jeep Wrangler range, uh, they do a whole heap of Toyotas, Land Rovers, Range Rovers, um, there's even vans that get converted into campers, they, they do something to suit you. And they're cut out to suit the bonnet contours of your vehicle. Um, full disclosure, they've given me a substantial discount on this uh, in return for being able to use my video. Um, so more than happy to do that. I'm under no obligation though to say anything with regards to it. Uh, so if it's, if it's good, I'll tell you it's good. If it's not, um, I'll tell you it's not too. I'm quite open with that. So what have I ended up with? Well, I've ended up with an 82 watt solar panel. Um, it's cut to suit the Jeep. You can see the uh, washers go through here. Um, on the bonnet of the Jeep or hood, if you're American again, um, I've got to remove the, the rubber bungs here and the footman hoop in the middle. Um, they're basically used if you fold the windscreen down on this. The windscreen rests upon the rubber bungs and you tie it down to the footman hoop. I've never folded the windscreen down on this and I don't think I ever will, so it doesn't really concern me. It's, this is about a three millimeter semi-rigid panel. Um, it's a matte finish, so you're not gonna get any glare. These are the specs on the back for those bids that would like, would like to know that. Now, what I can hear a lot of you guys saying is that, well, the bonnets of these get quite hot and that stuck onto the bonnet. As we all know, solar panels, when they get hot, their efficiency gets less. Well, if the bonnet's hot, it's probably running, the engine's running, and I'm getting charged from the alternator, which is far, far more charge than what I'll ever get from this thing. So I'm not really concerned about that. But when this thing's parked up, um, this thing will work quite well. That's, that's the theory anyway. Um, the other downside that I can hear a lot of you guys thinking is that, oh, I'm not sticking that onto the bonnet. If I want to take it off, it'll mark all the paintwork. No, they've thought of that. Um, you can also buy through Lensun a vinyl sheet uh, that's like vehicle wrap um, and you just affix that to the paintwork uh, and then stick the solar panel to this. So if you want to take the solar panel off, you can take that off and then you can take this off. Now when you buy this, you can buy it as just the panel, you can buy it with the panel and the film, um, or you can buy it with the panel, the film and a solar regulator. I didn't need the solar regulator because this is attaching to a BC-DC charger and that requires an unregulated feed from, direct from the solar panel. So at this point, let's get into the install. We need to take off the footman hoop and these two rubber bungs on the bonnet and um, we can start installing the vinyl. <laughs> and that's off. And these two rubber bungs are a press fit. And if you just lever them out from the top um, with your fingers, they should just pop out, which these have. Um, save all these if you want to go back to standard at a later date. Uh, now to, to prep this for the vinyl film, um, I'll just clay bar the paintwork and we should be right to go. Now when you're doing this vinyl, don't take all the vinyl off at once. I see a lot of guys doing that and it just becomes unmanageable. If you hold it down flat like I have with these things, you can move it around a bit to suit yourself. You need to measure this so you know where it is. Now I've 
just got an old spray bottle and made a mix up of a cap full of dishwashing liquid and water and we're going to use that for a slipping medium. What we're going to do is we're just going to install from here back and it's just going to make it a whole lot easier for ourselves. So we'll just peel, peel the film back to start with. We'll cut the backing paper off it, being careful not to cut your, your paintwork. We'll spray this with this medium. And we'll pull this down. And using the squeegee that Lens Sun has given us, From that, we'll start working our way backwards. And we'll just pull the backing paper off this. Now after putting the vinyl on the bonnet of the Jeep, I've just left it overnight. I've just parked it in the garage and left it uh, just so everything can settle down, the vinyl can adhere properly and um, any moisture just evaporates out. So we're up to sticking down the solar panel. A couple of options here, we can use a body moulding um, tape, uh, like a 3M VMB tape. Uh, that's really good. For me, I'm going to use Sika 252. It's probably a cheaper option and this stuff will stick like there's no tomorrow. Remembering if we want to take this solar panel off we're actually removing the vinyl from the, the bonnet before we even worry about getting the uh, vinyl off the uh, solar panel. So I'm going to use the 252. Um, I'm a little bit concerned with the body moulding tape where you're going into headwinds and driving rain and things like that um, that you could get some lift under the front lip. Um, with this, you won't. This, this stuff, I've used it on the camper, um, and this stuff is really, really good. But remember, we're sticking everything down to the vinyl, not the Juco on the car. So if we want to take it off at a later date, we're actually removing the wrap, not the solar panel so much. Um, the only drama I've got to be careful of with this is that uh, I've got to leave a border around the edge of the solar panel. Uh, so that when we install it and the sicker compresses, it doesn't all squeeze out the side and I've got to clean it all up. Um, if it does, um, WD-40 is really good to get this stuff off while it's in a gel state. Once it sets, um, you're going to be using a caramel wheel or something. So without further ado, let's stick down the solar panel. I'm going to leave a small border around the edge. I'm going to go all the way around the edge of this and uh, a few crosses in the middle. Now, I'll probably get one go at this to put it on.
So that went down really well. Um, there was a little bit of clean up around the edges you saw. Uh, the WD-40 gets it off really quick. You just go through a few rags. Um, I've weighted it down just to hold everything down, but it's fairly solid. Um, I'll just leave that now overnight to dry and we'll come back tomorrow morning and wire it up. So it's the next day and this is looking really, really good. I'm quite happy with the finish on the edge. You can see there's just a slight bead of Sikaflex all the way around. And this isn't gonna lift up at all. It's solid as a rock to the vinyl. It's quite a nice finished. You can see the cable from the solar panel going between the bonnet and the body panel. And I'll show you what I've done to stop this getting crushed. What I've done to stop the cable getting crushed is I've put a hole through the body seam here. Um, I'll put a little bit of silicon around the top of that to waterproof it. Uh, but when the bonnet is shut, uh, the cable doesn't get crushed. My wiring will be different than a lot of other guys and I'll show you why. My cable from the solar panel comes from the solar panel down along the firewall. I've found a grommet down here where there's a loom that goes into the cab. I've, I've broken through that with the cable and the cable then goes back down along the inside of the body here where the body loom goes up here, along here and to where I've got my BCDC charger. And there's a reason for this, we'll discuss this next episode. But if you look at the lights on the BCDC charger, you can see I've got a lithium profile, solar's on, and it's charging. So it's all working as it should. And I've got a really cheap shunt attached to it at the moment that I'm not all that happy with. Um, it's showing 1.3 amps and 18 watts, or 17 and a half watts. This is all installed, it's working as it should. I think for what it is, it actually looks quite good, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. I was really apprehensive about what I was sticking to my bonnet, um, but I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out, and it's pretty practical. Um, going forward, I will probably put a double Anderson plug in the cargo area so I can, can attach a uh, solar blanket to it. Um, that's a fairly cheap mod, but we'll have a chat about the new, yes, new, uh, lithium battery system I've got in the back of this next episode. That's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye now.